Good morning, everybody. It's a Saturday. I'm kind of getting ready. Just put on this deodorant. I really like this brand. Um, I've seen it all over Instagram, and I really do like it. Um, but it's a Saturday morning. It's Labor Day weekend, and it's actually my birthday in a couple of days, so we might be doing some fun stuff. I don't know. But um, I'm going to vlog today, and then tomorrow I'm hoping to share with y'all... Um, my weekend cleaning routine and how I fit that into my schedule um, because I do work a real job and I do YouTube and so it can get really overwhelming and even if you don't work and you stay at home <laughs> it's overwhelming to clean your house especially when you have little kids messing it up all the time so I'm gonna film that this weekend it'll be up next weekend today I am probably gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning I've got to get my grocery pickup um, I think we have a birthday party we're gonna to go to later I'm gonna be cooking some fall desserts more of them um, I already had a video go out on that but I'm gonna have more and yeah so I'm just gonna bring you along with this if you're new here my name is Abby I like to share with you ways to save money and time in your life and yeah so subscribe if you are new and um let's get into the video today's attire yoga pants and a t-shirt last night we went to my husband's football game um if y'all didn't know he's a high school football coach and we very rarely stay the whole entire game because it's late with kids. Well, we did stay last night. This was the first time ever. We're so tired today. My house, it's a mess. Let me share with you. Stuff everywhere. I like shrimp. You like shrimp? Yes. Say hi. Hi, I like shrimp. You like shrimp. I'm just showing everybody our messy house. I, I like to have some shrimp. To eat? Yeah, at the store. Well, I did a shoe store. Maybe. <laughs> Dad. Sybil. Dad. Dad. My mom so it Are you eating? Dad. 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 Mm hmm. Mm. Just stuff everywhere. So I'm drinking a little bit of coffee. I made an espresso from my machine. Sybil. We're about to go get our groceries. So if you are someone that is really busy or you oftentimes feel stuck when you are meal planning, then I have an app that I think you are going to love. So emails is an app that helps to simplify and make meal planning easier for you. It holds thousands of recipes in the app and you can choose in the app the type of recipes that you're looking for. So maybe you're looking for keto or kid friendly or five ingredients or less, you can find a recipe for it. All you have to do is pick the recipes that you're looking for for the week, you add them to your list and then the items needed for those recipes are accumulated into a shopping list. Now it gets even better. Your shopping list is housed all for you you can then take it and go shopping yourself. Or it gets better, you can take that shopping list and send it to another online pickup provider for you. So for me, all I have to do in the app is find my meals for the week, make them my list, send the shopping list to Walmart pickup, which I use every week, and then they find the ingredients for me and I pick it up. So really, it's an amazing app. It saves you a lot of time and headache if you hate meal planning, if you don't have a lot of time, if you don't know what to cook, it's gonna help you out and save you a lot of time and headache. So I have ordered my meals for the week. I am going to go get them 
like I said earlier, and then I will share with you how easy it is. Make sure to go check out emails. You will thank me later. It's a really cool app and I'm very impressed with it. You can click the link in my description box to try it yourself. Let's go get my groceries and get cooking something for tonight. I have a crock pot meal in mind too. It's for Labor Day, the flags. Huh? Labor Day, we talked about this yesterday. No, I need to get out so I can see. No, we're not getting out. I need to get out so I can see. Um, no, we're getting our groceries. Don't Here we go. All right, we just got all of our groceries. All right, guys, this is my pretty humongous Walmart pickup this order this week. We just got back. I'm gonna show you what I got in this week's pickup. Um, this week was kind of expensive. It was $160. Last week my pickup was about 60 bucks, I think, because I was doing a shelf cooking week and it was the week before payday. So this week, obviously we got paid. Um, so we spend more money usually the first week of payday um, because we're like stocking up on things that we've been out of. So here we go. Also, a lot of this stuff is um, some fall recipes. So let me know if you can guess what some of these meals are because I'm gonna be making them this week. So here we go. All right, we're gonna start down here. I got eggs, powdered sugar, We've got some corn tortillas. I love these little baby potatoes. They're really easy um, to cook. Limes for my Topa Chico. I've got some Rolos, vegetable broth, beef broth, some caramel popcorn, um, whole grain brown rice, some wheat checks. Um, this is gonna be one of my desserts for the fall. Two mac and cheeses. Caramel macchiato, okay, I did not request this. I just wanted the black iced coffee and unfortunately they were out, so I got this. Um, I just like black coffee that's zero calories, so I'll give this to my sister maybe or my mom or maybe have a little. Some more ranch, I definitely wanted to try these pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Um, because I did make pumpkin cinnamon rolls in my last video that were delicious, I will share it. Um, but I wanted to try those too. Regular biscuits, peanuts, croissants, bacon bits, butter, frozen peas and carrots, ice cream for another dessert, Reese's for another dessert, big Reese's, pumpkin cookies, which I did make pumpkin cookies too, whipped topping, cream cheese, grapes, pretzels, chips for the salsa, orange juice, um, a little thing of half and half, diced tomatoes, cream of chicken, pico. I needed some more pumpkin pie spice, broccoli, my kids like to eat broccoli with ranch, Brussels sprouts, carrots, my kids like to eat those. I got, whoops. I got these for my kids to floss with because I got in trouble at the dentist because we haven't been flossing their teeth. So, um, cheesecake jello for a recipe, cream of mushroom, some more pumpkin, onion soup mix, pumpkins, candy corn, Cheez Its, saltines, vanilla wafers, um, Ritz crackers for the Ritz chicken, apples, bread. Uh, black cherry LaCroix, that was a substitution too. I like the lime. I gotta have my Dreamsicle energy drinks because I like them and they're the cheapest at Walmart. Um, they're like $1.75, no. They're like $1.60 at Walmart and if I go to the convenience store, they're like three bucks. Cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, black beans, corn. Topo Chico, I got a Sudafed, a milk and I got some more Tylenol, so that's good to have on hand. I'm gonna put up all of this stuff. It's gonna take me a while. Thankfully, all my kids are sleeping. Um, taking a nap. She just woke up, literally. Okay, I'm gonna get the baby and then put this up. I'm gonna start off by 
putting new sheets on my son's bed. I, as you can see, have like the plastic cover on the sheets because my kids are still young and sometimes they have accidents and that helps um, the accidents from getting into the mattress. I do wash my kids' sheets obviously every time they do have an accident, but if they don't have an accident, I try to wash their sheets like every other week just because my kids get dirty. So I'm just changing out my sheets. Um, these are just flannel sheets from Walmart that I keep on my son's bed and I'm going to make the bed and have him help me clean up. Now I'm just going to be cleaning our closet doors. I do like how these doors are mirrors so that we can, you know, not have to have a mirror in our room to see ourselves, but man, they get really dirty, especially in my son's room when the kids are in there playing. So I'm just cleaning them with a microfiber rag and some glass cleaner. Now I'm going through my son's drawers. So it's the end of summer and he has way too much clothes. He has the clothes he's had throughout the summer and last year and then I got him some new school clothes. So I am just emptying out his drawers and separating them into piles. So the piles we're doing are like old that we're getting rid of. They have stained, they're too little. Um, and then we're gonna have a pile of like play clothes. So these are like just like t-shirts and you know cheaper clothes kind of like athletic clothes and then we're gonna have a nicer pile of clothes that you know we will wear to church or to nicer events um, and then we're gonna have um, his extremely nice clothes are in his closet I like to do this to my kids' clothes probably at the end of every season. That's probably whenever most people do it, and I will just go throughout the whole house and do each kid's room. Today, I'm just doing my son's. I'm going to have to do my daughter's, um, but that is going to take way longer because they have way more clothes than him. <laughs> I got Truett's clothes done with. These are like his old summer clothes that are getting too small that have stains on them. I'm gonna get rid of them. Um, there's not really that many great things left so I'm probably not gonna be giving them to anybody. Now that we have all of his school clothes, we're gonna get rid of this stuff. Now I'm going to be cleaning up our playroom. This is our play area and it actually used to be a bedroom, I am told, and we are hoping to turn this back into a bedroom in a year or so, um, but right now it's just an open area and it is where our toys are. I'm just cleaning them up and then I'm gonna have my husband vacuum for me. I try to keep this area nice and neat and organized for the kids so that they aren't overwhelmed when they're playing. We have a TV cabinet and that's where all of the toys are. Um, and I think that that helps whenever you do have kids, you need one place where the toys are and it needs to be neat and organized so that they know what they have and what they're playing with.
closer to you and it's getting dark in this room tell me what you want to do baby let me love you let me love you let me love you let me love you baby let me love you let me love you let me love let me love baby let me love you all right i'm gonna get started on my meal prep for the week it's gonna be potatoes green beans and sausage i usually add um squash into this but I don't have any so I'm gonna cut these up put them all together I'll probably put some onion in here too, season it with Uncle Chris's bake it in the oven and then I'll have it divided up into Tupperwares for the week Now I'm just gonna start doing some dishes. I already emptied out my dishwasher and I'm going to be cleaning them up. All I'm using is this little scrubby and I really like it because in the scrubby, the handle, you can pour dish soap and so that's what I do. So I don't have to constantly be pouring dish soap and wasting it. I'm just gonna clean up all of my dishes from the day and the night before actually, put them away and then I'm gonna start cleaning my countertops. Since I have black countertops, it's a love-hate relationship. I love that they are black because it doesn't show dirt in stains. But that's also why I don't like it because I can have a trail of ants crawling around on my countertops and I don't know it. Or I can have a bunch of stains on it and I can't see it. So I like to clean my countertops every single day with hot water. All I'm using is a microfiber e-cloth so this is specifically for the countertops it's actually like antibacterial and it helps to keep the surface very clean that you are using it for i will link them down below they are really great and affordable I am going to go into my bedroom and pick up all of the trash, all of the toys, and all of the dirty clothes first. This is really embarrassing for me because my room is never dirty like this and it was just one of those weeks. So after I pick up all of those things, I'm going to get my clothes that need to be hung up and I'm going to hang them up in my closet, put away all of the other clothes, and then start cleaning my closet doors with the same glass cleaner that I used previously in my son's room.
I am now going to go into my daughter's and my son's bathrooms and pick up things that are in there that need to be put somewhere else. I'm going to clean their mirrors as well and wipe off all of the surfaces with a Clorox wipe. That's what I like to use um, just because it's easy and it's fast and I do this once a week so that we don't have more germs accumulate. And I also use Clorox wipes for the toilet because they're fast and easy and you just throw them away. Um, but after I do that, then I'm going to get started mopping, which I absolutely hate doing, but I really need to do. Whenever I am mopping my whole entire house, I like to use my spin mop with water and a little bit of Tide cleaner to clean everything because it's a large amount of floor that I'm mopping because we only have carpet in one small room. So everything I usually have to mop. But whenever it's just a small area like my kitchen that I'm mopping, I will just sometimes grab a Swiffer mop with a Swiffer pad and clean that area and toss it and throw it away. So that is what I'm doing here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I just realized I didn't end this video yesterday, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna end it now. Make sure to check out the link below for emails. Give it a try, see how you like it. I will see you in this coming week's video. This weekend, my fall slow cooker crock pot video is gonna be coming out, so stay tuned. I am very excited for all of those recipes. I will see y'all this weekend. Bye, everybody. I just wanna love you.